Hey everyone, it's Dave. Today I'm going to make one of my favorite bean dishes. This is a traditional uh, Mexican pinto bean dish called frijoles a la chara. Uh, what I'm going to do first is get my burner going at about medium heat. Uh, to do this dish, what you need is about a pound of pinto beans, uh, chopped onion, some minced garlic, I got a few strips of bacon here that I've chopped into about one centimeter pieces. Um, you don't have to use bacon if you don't want to. You can easily make this a vegan dish, but it adds a nice bit of flavor. Um, other options are uh, Mexican chorizo. Uh, for spices, I got salt and pepper. Um, I got some Mexican oregano. I've got some uh, smoked paprika and a little bit of sweet paprika. And then some chicken bouillon base. Um, so what I'm going to do is just put these bacon strips in there and we're going to let that uh, fat render out of the bacon strips so they become uh, not quite crispy uh, just before that and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, after about five minutes I've got my bacon fat rendered nicely. Our bacon's not quite super crispy but pretty close. So I'm just going to add some onion to this. This is just one white onion. And then to that, I'm going to add some salt, some pepper, and then I like to add my seasoning in this stage. A little bit of a technique that I learned from cooking Indian food called spice blooming. It just kind of brings out a little bit extra flavor in the process. So on a nice healthy amount of Hungarian sweet paprika and then smoked Spanish paprika is definitely a more powerful flavor so that I just do a couple of pinches. And then I'm going to stir this around a little bit. And I wish you guys could smell this, all that smoky bacon and paprika and oregano and onion. It is delicious. And then I'm going to add my garlic. And I don't, I just want these onions to soften just a little bit. Uh, you don't want to cook them too long because they're going to end up being cooked with the beans for a long period of time so you need to let them sit for a little bit so now that my onions have softened I'm gonna add my pinto beans and this step is probably not necessary but I kinda like to toss them around in here There's a lot of different beans out there, pinto beans, great northern beans, navy beans, um, kidney beans, black beans. For some reason, pintos are my favorite. I just really love the creamy texture that they have when they're, uh, when they're cooked. I did forget this part in the ingredients. Uh, one of the things that I like to do for my boiling liquid is add a can of beer. It just adds a nice depth of flavor. And you want to add that first so it gives off some aroma. And then to this, I'm going to add uh, about four cups of water. Now the goal here is you probably want about twice as much liquid as you do beans. And I'm going to crank my heat up to medium high to high, depends on your stove. And then I want to bring this to a boil and then after I do this we'll add a little bit of chicken bouillon flavor and then we'll put it in our oven we'll simmer it for a while. Okay now that we've got our beans up to a boil. We're going to add some of our chicken bouillon. 
Um, I like to use this product called Better Than Bullion. The directions say that you want to add about one teaspoon of Better Than Bullion for every cup of liquid that you have in there, including the beer and the water, we have about six cups of liquid in there. I generally find that ratio to be way too salty. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon because there's three teaspoons in a tablespoon. Um, and then I'm just gonna cook, you just kinda gotta mix it in like this. And gradually it'll stir itself about. Good rule of thumb when you're cooking this stuff. Uh, you can always um, add salt later. It's really hard to take it out. In fact, it's impossible. So now I'm gonna cover these and you can easily let this simmer on the stove if you want to but because i have a gas stove and an open flame i don't really like doing that as much so i'm going to pop this in the oven i have it at uh, 250 which as you know water boils at 212 degrees fahrenheit so this is just going to cook for roughly two to two and a half hours i know there's a lot of different methods out there when it comes to cooking beans from scratch some uh, ask you to soak the beans overnight Others say to um, do what they call parboil, which means bring it up to a boil and then turn the heat off and cover it and let it sit for a while and then cook it. Um, what I found is that those all work, but really the easiest thing to do is just to boil them for a long time and let them simmer. Um, and generally, depending on the type of bean, that's anywhere from one and a half to two and a half hours. You don't want to undercook your beans because that makes it a lot harder for them to digest. I you get a lot of gas. Um, another thing that you want to do when you're cooking from um, straight raw beans is that you don't want to add things that are really acidic, uh, like tomatoes. Um, when you add tomatoes to um, raw beans, it makes the cooking uh, time go up exponentially. Um, it's really kind of a pain in the butt. So if you're going to add tomatoes to it, do it afterwards. Or if you want to make chili with beans, just buy some cooked beans. So those are some tips when it comes to cooking uh, whole beans from scratch. So we're going to check back later after, oh, about two, two and a half hours. And then we'll finish this dish. It's absolutely delicious. All right, it's been just over two hours. I've checked my beans. They are nice and soft and tender. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is that when you're cooking these, you want to make sure that you have enough liquid in the pan, otherwise they could dry out. But these look really, really good. They have a nice kind of soupy consistency. So I'm going to ladle some in here. And as far as what you'd serve these with, um, it's really up to you. They're great by themselves. Um, but I like to kind of dress them up a little bit. So I've got a little bit of uh, Mexican hot sauce, some tapatio, uh, a little bit of lime, some tomatoes. And again, I don't want to cook these with tomatoes because they inhibit the cooking process. Got some green onions or scallions, a little bit of cilantro, and then some fresh jalapenos and some avocado um, some other possibilities could be cheese or sour cream uh, but this is just what i like to do i'll just kind of mix these around in here and get a good bite mm. Oh man, I wish you guys could smell it because it's just fantastic. But that's how you do a pot of beans. Uh, frijoles a la chara. Uh, from my family to yours, enjoy.